What's up guys, it's Paralyzer, and the first thing I wanted to talk to you about in this guide, uh, because that is what we're doing today, is your glyphs. Um, I'm going to talk about everything. I'm going to talk about your gear. I'm going to talk about your um, talents. I'm going to talk about what enchants you should be using. I'm going to talk about all that good stuff. But first, let's get started on the glyphs, because they added this really cool new glyph called Hand of Freedom. If you guys played back in the day, you might remember Hand of Freedom used to remove stuns. Um, and now it doesn't exactly do that, but it does reduce current CCs on you by 25%. Also, it reduces incoming CCs by 25% as long as they happen within 4 seconds. The second glyph you'll be using pretty much permanently is Glyph of Templar's Verdict. Whenever you deal damage with Exorcism or Templar's Verdict, you will take 10% less damage for 6 seconds. That one is pretty much needed. It's really good, no matter how you look at it. And the third glyph that I use is Word of Glory, and the reason I use it is because your four set bonus as a rep paladin, um, I'll read it to you, spending holy power increases your damage and healing by 3% per holy power spent for 8 seconds. So, what this means is, when you use Word of Glory glyph with it, and you use Word of Glory on yourself with a 3 stack, um, basically you'll heal yourself, and you'll gain 2 bonuses of 9% damage, equaling out to 18% damage. So when you, again, when you Word of Glory yourself, or an ally, you will gain 18% damage. Pretty awesome, right? Now the last glyph that we're going to talk about today, there are some other ones that you can use, such as Double Jeopardy or Flash of Light in Replace of Word of Glory. Um, but the reason I don't recommend using Burden of Guilt, I'll get to later. Um, but, um, like I said, the one you're going to want to use instead of Word of Glory is if you're playing against something like Double Melee, where they do physical damage, you'll, you'll want to go ahead and replace Word of Glory with Divine Protection. Because what that'll do is it'll reduce the magical reduction of your divine protection by 20%, but it'll increase the physical damage reduction by 20%. So you'll take 20% less damage versus physical targets. So, what that means is, if you're playing against a mage, you're probably not going to want to use divine protection. You'll probably want to go ahead and use Word of Glory or one of the other mentioned glyphs. And if you're playing against, like, Rogue Warrior, you'll want to use Glyph of Divine Protection. Now that we have glyphs out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and talk about what you should be enchanting. Now there are enchants that I currently am not using because they're very expensive, um, but I do recommend getting them if you do have the gold. Um, so to say what I'm enchanting is versatility. I'm, I love it. It's a very um, almost perfect stat for paladins in every sense of the word because versatility um, as an ability or as an enhancement as they call it now increases your damage and healing done by percent and decreases damage taken by percent of half of what you would have gained so what i mean by that is if you have 7.20 percent versatility as i have half of that will also be damage reduction so if you can stack versatility you gain a fair bit of damage increase and heal increase and you gain half that in damage reduction so it's really nice um multi-strike is really good too but it's like relying on crit like before as to where it's really good if it procs or if it does the extra healing or extra damage, but it's not guaranteed as to where versatility is a guaranteed damage, heal, and damage reduction increase. It's like a perfect stat. Now, as for weapon enchant, I'm not entirely sure on what I want to use at the moment, but for the time being, because it's much less expensive, go ahead and use uh, Mark of the Shattered Hand. It's not bad. It's a bleed for 1.5 to 4k. I like it. Um, it's not something I rely on in any way. I just it's there and it does help a bit. Um, but if there is a you know 500 versatility um, enchant, that might be better off to go with. I'm currently using what the high, much higher rated reds are using, like Vanguard and Avenger. Now that we have enchants out of the way, I do want to talk to you about what type of gear you should be getting because it's not as simple as it was before. Um, as to where back in Mr. Pandaria or even Cataclysm. You could say, oh, you should get Scaled, or you should get um, Prowess, or you should get Alacrity. You can't do that anymore because gear is different. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is tell you my stat priority at the moment. Also, a lot of other Paladins are using it too. Um, so the initial stat that you should always focus on, obviously, is Strength. That's your best stat. Um, and then you can follow that up with Versatility, followed by Multi-Strike, followed by Crit, Mastery, or Haste. Whichever one you decide after th as your third. Um, or fourth, sorry. I would definitely... Um, Keep your mind on multi-strike versatility and strength um, as your main stats and then your side stats is something you can test out for yourself personally I really do like crit as a fourth stat it feels really nice um, mastery is like amazing as well because it's just straight damage that's currently what I'm using. so it's definitely up to you and what you decide all right guys so now we're gonna get into the uh, bigger portion of this video and that is talking about level 100 talents um, Seraphim is not going to be on the menu for today. Sorry to tell you that. Um, it's not a very good ability currently for Rep Paladins. Things might change, but being a 5 Holy Power ability 
the stats are great, but it's just too much to stack right now. So what I do recommend using is Final Verdict. I love this ability. I was trying Empowered Seals for a bit. It's nice. You can do a lot of mobility things with it. What, what you can do is like Judgment with Seal of Truth active. You gain 15% and then swap the Seal of Justice and then you can train someone down. But with Final Verdict, um, I no longer use Seal of Truth because it's, it's unnecessary. What I do, and the reason I said this earlier, um, I switch out Burden of Guilt for a better glyph, such as uh, Hand of Freedom, and I no longer use it. And what I'll do is I'll only use Seal of Justice. That gives me a permanent slow. If I, As long as I'm staying on top of my target, it's a permanent slow. And if a healer uses a speed boost, my um, Final Verdict actually hits because it's a ranged ability. So Final Verdict replaces your Templar's Verdict and exchanges its physical damage for holy damage, so something like Hand of Protection can no longer protect against Final Verdict. Also, it increases your damage and radius of your Divine Storm by 100%. So you might notice um, padding the meters a bit. <laughs> like, so when you use Divine Storm and it hits for 50k per target in your radius, it's really nice and it hits really hard. Um, so having that up, maintaining the slow on your target and just constantly pressuring, say you're playing with a healer or even like a, a heavy CC um, class such as Rogue like I am, um, you, you have a lot of constant pressure and there's a lot of lockdown capability. So I do recommend using Final Verdict over it. All right, so that's going to do it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm also going to be doing another one when the season comes out and I can actually see what comps and what strats will actually be viable. Um, but that'll do it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember that if you did, leaving a like and comment really does help me out. Also, subscribing so you know when I upload is another huge way to support me. So, yeah, if this did help, make sure to do that, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.